Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Gyan and in this video I am going to tell you about two RTL design and simulation tools. These both tools are based on web application and they are 100% free. I have been using them for a long time since my college days and they have been really helpful in my very low SDL practice. They really have a nice user interface and easy to use. So let's get started. Just go ahead and open your web browser and type as DL Pitch. Click on the HDL bits. So the HDL bits is the first tool I am going to tell you about. So once you open the HDL bits, this is the first page which will uh, come. And here you will see the HDL bits which is used basically for very low practice. Then you will have how to use the HDL bits. Just go ahead about, go ahead uh, for all these, uh, just, just go ahead and check all these links where you will uh, find uh, how to make use of this HTML bits tool. It also covers what all exercises you can perform and in the topic section you will see the getting started page and some very low constructs then you will have the combinational sequential uh, uh, logics uh, which also uh, this uh, tool covers the basics of combinational sequential logics then you will have uh, the reading simulations so how basically you can uh, analyze the waveforms after uh, the design simulation and also how you can write the test benches and run the simulations so first of all just go ahead and log into the tool so uh, if you are using this tool first time so you basically have to first create your profile so just uh, go ahead and uh, click on the create profile so here uh, they will ask you what you want uh, uh, your username and then uh, they will ask to uh, select your password and then create profile so i have already uh, created my profile so i will just go ahead and log into this tool So now I am being logged into the tool and now you can just go ahead and in the simulation section if you see run a simulation. So this is the text editor this tool provides here you will see uh, the design and its test bench. Both design and test bench are part of a uh, same file. So this is a simple inverter uh, design and its test bench here. Two three things you need to notice here are first is to dump the signal waveforms into the waveform window. You have to use a subroutine which is probe start. Okay, then you have to use the subroutine probe start and then what all signals you want to probe. For example, clock and here you see that. We are probing the in and output signals as well. You can you can probe these in and output signals here as well as in the test part, test in, in the test bench portion as well. So that is not a problem. Another thing is the test bench name here you have to give as top underscore module only. You cannot give some uh, some another name. The tool only recognizes the top underscore module name as the test bench for your top level module name. So once you have written your design and its test bench, you can just submit. So once you submit, you will here see total mismatch samples is zero out of zero samples. So basically, this mismatch here signifi signifies the uh, your design with respect to the reference design. Okay. So this so whatever the checks this tool maps for your design with respect to its internal reference design so this is nothing but that so if your design is as per the in intention or if your design is correct you will see here uh, zero mismatches then here you will see a beautiful wave window so this is the inverter design so you, you will see here this is the input signal and this is the output signal 
so this is one way where you can write your design and place plans in this text editor itself there is also another way here, here if you see upload a source file so this will also gives you uh, one another op options to write your Gitlo code and then upload that code here so I will just upload I have written a, a design rising as detector design so this file contains both design and test bench code so I will select this I will open it and then upload and send so a new page will open here you will see zero samples zero mismatches and here this is the fit form okay so hope these both uh, options of uh, uh, simulating your designs are clear now we will go ahead and see the another tool which is nothing but EDA playground I will uh, open your web browser and type ED playground so first of all here also you go ahead and login first to the tool you can login with your google account gmail account so I will login with my personal gmail account then here is the text editors this is the design and this is the test bench text editor you can give a, a name to your design and you can make it whether you want it a public or published or private design so i will just give as a public design and then you can uh, you have to also select your uh, tool so if you first want to synthesis or want to simulate for example uh, once our design is ready we want to synthesize that design so you can select for example your synthesis tool and you can save and then you can start then you can start writing the code here so I have already written a code so whatever the uh, designs you write here those designs basically go ahead and sit under the your playground section so here if you will see this is all the designs I have created so I will open the rising edge pulse detector so this RTL code and the, this test bench code is nothing but whatever we have uploaded in the HDL bits as well so this is our design code and this is our test bench code first we are going to synthesize this design so what I will do I will select the UC synthesis tool and then click on show diagram after run and save the design and give it so here you can see that this is the synthesis diagram which opens so it will tell you uh, what what all uh, basically uh, sequential or combinational logics your design has so if you see here we have a flip flop again flip flop b flip flop then we have a note gate we have a end gate and here again you will see a flip flop so this is basically a uh, circuit diagram of your design now we will just go in and simulate this design so for the simulations we have to select a simulator tool so from these tools you can select for example I will select the synopsis VCS and here you can enable the open EP view after run and run the game. so I will just rearrange these signals so if you see here this is our clock signal our reset signal and this is our input signal and here we have the edge detect so after one clock cycle we will get a one clock cycle pulse as an output so hope these two tools are going to be very helpful for you if you are uh, practicing uh, very log for your uh, college exams or interview exams or interview questions if you like the video please hit the like button also please do subscribe this channel and enable the notification so that you will not miss any such video in future thank you very much